Genshin fans have a weird relationship with miHoYo. A couple months ago, there was some stupid shit about the anniversary event being underwhelming. And while I agree, it seems that Genshin fans only ever get riled up about things when they aren't being spoiled. And miHoYo always responds by giving in and rewarding them for being babies. Think of the Johnny buff and the recent anniversary rewards. Regardless of whether it was the right decision to make, it creates a relationship where the fans will cry like spoiled children until they get what they want. And miHoYo plays the part of the overly kind parent really well. Once that's done, the situation gets swept under the rug. My point is, Genshin fans should or should have been more consistent on calling out Genshin on its shit back when it was released. This is why I don't like and try to stay away from Genshin fans, even though I also love the game. Who knows, I might be completely wrong. I don't associate with those weirdos enough to know if what I'm saying is true, but at the very least, I feel like there's some truth here. Also, I'll never forget how ridiculous the Xinyan and Kaya controversy was. These idiots literally twisted the line about Xinyan being scary because of her attire and attitude and turned it into a race thing. Maybe if Genshin fans were more proactive about their issues with the game back when it was released, Mihoyo would have felt inclined to change some things. But now, why would they? They have no reason to at this point. But of course, we all want to wait until the trouble is right in our face to complain about it, rather than trying to stop it from occurring in the first place. I actually made a video that I hate now, criticizing just about everything I could about Genshin around the end of March. Of course, it probably wasn't the first video criticizing Genshin. I swear the only thing the fans won't stop complaining about is the gacha, which is a start, I guess. And this thing about Lisa having the best climbing moans in Genshin? That's fucking bullshit. It's a well-known fact that Mona, Shangling, Noel, Beidou, Jean, and every other character that I like is on par if not better than Lisa. Okay, if you're gonna put Lisa S S tier, Beidou has to be there because that she's literally just the same like MILF except better.